Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today we're going to talk about saving presets of your audio effects inside of Ableton Live. I've gotten this question quite a bit and figured why not make a quick tutorial on it. Right now I have a session open inside of Ableton Live. Actually it's a session from one of my tutoring sessions uh, with, with one of my buddies that I actually uh, teach Ableton Live to. If any of you are interested in Skype-based tutoring or one-on-one -on -one training for Ableton Live, go ahead and hit me up. Um, either the contact form on 40tv.com or my YouTube channel and uh, we can work something out that works in your budget. Okay, moving right along. I'm going to go ahead and preview this track even though that's not the basis of this tutorial. Next thing I'm going to do is add an audio track. I can do that by pressing Command T. When I do so, I'm going to go ahead and add an effect. I'm going to add the Auto-Tune Evo effect. I'm going to make a couple changes to this effect. The tracking speed set it to 100, the retune speed set it to 0. We have to make a couple more changes to make this the T-Pain effect, but we'll leave it like that for now. I'll go ahead and close it. Over here in the effects browser, we'll notice that I have the Auto-Tune Evo effect here. To the right to top of the effect, you'll see there's a save preset icon. When I click on that, it'll go ahead and allow me to save the preset um, and rename it. So I can go ahead and type in T-Pain effect, for example. And now if I delete this effect and drag the preset in, we'll notice that the tracking speed and the retune speed are now saved to this particular preset. This obviously will work with other effects. So for example, if I wanted to save a compressor preset that I've used here on this Alien FX, then I can go ahead and click on the Save button, and it would be located in my effect browser underneath, uh, let me collapse that, collapse that, open up audio effects. We'll see here under Compressor, it would show under here. So if I go ahead and do that, for example, we can call this 40TV comp, comp uh, preset, for example, right? And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that's where the preset is. If we want to delete it, we can press delete on our keyboard. It'll come up with a dialog boss asking us if we really want to do it. We say yes, and it's gone. Guys, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Till next time, I'm out.